uh, we uh, show how to use the polar coordinates to evaluate double, double integrals. Uh, in some cases, uh, we, um, it's easier to evaluate the, the double integrals in polar coordinates, especially in the if the region is bounded by a circle, a spiral, or cardinal. Uh, let's see if the, uh, if the region is bounded by it like this. If this is the region, and uh, the outer the outer curve is right as R two set. The inner is R1 seat, and uh, the theta is from theta 1 to theta 2. This is theta 2. Then the double integral can be write as the double integral of R theta. DA can be right as from theta 1 to theta 2 and uh, R is from R1 theta to R2 theta. We always use the uh, theta as the outer integral or the first integral for the theta and this is R FR theta then the dA is r dr d theta. We show why. We show. We will show why the dA is r dr d theta. First one. Uh, let's see. Uh, the region. The region D. We use R, uh, R equals constant, and theta equals uh, constant to 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 divide the region into small into small regions. Then uh, each uh, each part is a sector uh, is a part of a sector. That's that's D A or delta A. If uh, the the change of the radius is D R and the change of the Angle is d theta. Then um, by the area, by the uh, by the formula for the area of sectors, the delta A should equal. Uh, we choose uh, choose this point. You, 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 we choose the point at the uh, center of the of this region because because our double integral f r theta d a equals the limit and the limit delta a tends to zero or n tends to infinity uh, i from one to n f r i i g here i g r r i star theta j star then delta a i g 
the delta A I G. The delta A I G equals uh, we call this I G. Uh, we choose first we choose R uh, I star and theta J star be the center. this region then then this part okay then the uh, this part is R star I minus uh, one half dr, and uh, this part is R star plus one half dr. And it's okay. So delta A I G. It calls the the outer sector the area of outer se sector minus the uh, inner sector that is one half and the the area of sector uh, is the area of sector is one half r square times theta so the outer the, the area of outer sector is one half r star i i star plus one half d r square minus d theta uh, times d theta minus one half r i star minus one half d r then d theta that equals uh, that a cos uh, we expand the uh, bracket so that the result uh, we can expand this first r i star square plus uh, d r plus one fourth d r square then d theta minus one half R i star square uh, min, uh, minus d r plus one fourth d r square then d theta so that is r r i star d r d theta so so the Double integral r theta d d a equals the double integral f r theta the d a is r d r d theta. That's the expression for the uh, for the integrand. And how to find the limit, the upper limit and the lower limit for r theta? And uh, lower limit of R theta. Uh, we always we always use the use the theta as the first in integral. So the uh, R is a curve the, the upper 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 and lower limit for r is always the is always the function of theta and how to find the uh, how to find the upper limit or lower limit for the r uh, we draw a ray start from the origin 
uh, we draw a reef that start from the origin and the uh, the curve close to the origin is the lower limit for r and uh, the outer curve uh, the, the outer curve is the uh, upper limit for r and if if we uh, if we regard the ray can be moved can be moved from uh, can be moved can and like this Can be more uh, counterclockwise, and the least the least angle the least angle that this ray intersect the region is the lower limit for R, and the the bigger the biggest uh, angle that the ray intersect the region is uh, is the upper limit for theta. That's theta two. Uh, we draw a ray. Um, we draw a ray. Uh, start from the origin and uh, and intersect the the region. That is the the inner curve is the lower limit for R, and the outer curve is the upper limit for R. If R theta, okay, so for R. The inner curve is a lower limit the outer curve is a upper limit and for theta the least angle the least angle uh, which intersect intersect the origin that is, that is the lower limit and the uh, uh, biggest angle is the uh, upper limit That's uh, how to find the upper limit and lower limit. And for the uh, when to use when to use polar coordinate. Uh, the the first case that is the the region. Is um, bounded by curve uh, circle. Bounded by circle or spiral or or uh, in general uh, the uh, the the boundary or boundary is easier is simpler. It is simpler in um, polar coordinate. That's the first case. The second case that is the integrand. The integrand uh, can be write as x square plus y square because x square plus y square is the r square. Okay, let's see some examples. The first example, we evaluate the double integral uh, sine theta dA, where d is the region in the first quadrant
that is bounded by oh that is outside outside the uh, outside the circle r equals two and inside inside card 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 R equals two one plus cosine theta. Uh, for any a uh, double integral, uh, we ask uh, students to draw the graph of the region first. But for from uh, for this for this um, for uh, this example, we can actually we can write the write the upper limit and the lower limit uh, directly but of course uh, uh, it's better to draw, draw the region first r equals 2 uh, that means the radius the radius is 2 it's 2 negative 2 o outside the outside the the circle and inside the front and the cardioid r equals 2 times cosine theta how to draw this graph we can use actually we can use the uh, points we can use the table the, the, the table of points mm. Table points equals yeah yeah is it the inter sorry we can find the intersection. intersection as r equals 2 and r equals uh, 2 1 plus cosine theta so the cos this uh, intersection is theta equals pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2 that is point at this point these two points and the region is the first quadrant First quadrant outside the circle and inside the the card cardioid. So the region is this part. Uh, we use the ray to determine the upper limit and the lower limit. Then the uh, the region can be write as r theta r is the upper limit uh, the the upper limit is cardio cardioid and the lower limit is a circle so the r r greater than two less than two times one plus cosine theta and the uh, theta for the first quadrant the first quadrant the so the uh, the least the least angle is theta is zero and the biggest uh, is this part this part so the biggest angle biggest angle is here this point that is pi over two so the upper limit is pi over two so the double integral d sine theta d a a cos from 0 to pi over 2 and from 2 to 2 times 1 plus cosine theta and sine theta the integrant is sine theta and the d a is r 
dr d theta. Then as pi over 2, the integral to r first, that is 1 half r square from 2 to 2 times 1 plus cosine theta, then times sine theta, d theta, pi over 2 from 0 to pi over 2. Uh, that is 1 half uh, 4, 1 plus cosine theta square uh, minus 4 sine theta d theta from 0 to pi over 2 as uh, as 2 cosine theta as 8 sine 8 cosine theta plus uh, 4 cosine theta square sine theta d theta we can use the u substitution u equals cosine theta then sine theta d theta is negative du that is negative uh, then du equals negative sine theta d theta and uh, when when theta equals zero u equals one when theta equals pi over two u equals zero that's one half uh, h u plus four u square then du that is uh, zero to one that is 4u plus 2u square du as 2u square plus uh, 2 over 3u cube from 0 to 1 that is 2 plus 2 over 3 that is h over 3 that's the first uh, example uh, we uh, we know from and this example gives us the upper limit and the lower limit and um, or the uh, out, outer curve and the inner curve in polar coordinate the equation is polar coordinate so it's easier to it's easier to uh, find the upper limit and the lower limit let's see uh, another example Evaluate h the double integral 1 over 1 plus x square plus y square dA where d is bounded by y equals 0 y equals x and uh, x square plus y square equals 4 Okay, this region is given in rectangular uh, rectangular equation. Rectangular uh, the, the the function is in rect rectangular form. Y equals zero is the x-axis. Y equals x is the line, and x square x uh, in the first quadrant x square plus y square equals 4 that is so the uh, Enclosed by the a three a three this three curve uh, we uh, this can only be enclosed by this part.
Then we need to find the uh, outer lim uh, the, the upper limit and the lower limit for sine and uh, for uh, for theta and r r theta. What is uh, what is the uh, lower limit and the upper limit for theta? Because in this region, so. We, if we draw a ray, start from the from the origin, the least angle is zero, is the x-axis. So the theta is bigger than zero, and the y equals x, y equals and the line y equals x equals the angle of pi over four, because the tendency that equals one. And the R start from the uh, from the origin, and th this this region, uh, the the uh, the origin is at the boundary of the region. So the the least or the lower limit for R is zero. This the uh, the lower or, or the inner curve is just just this point. And the outer uh, the the outer curve is x square plus y square equals four. X square plus y e square equals four. This means we can write the, this as polar coordinates is r equals two. So the uh, upper limit for r is equals two. So the the double integral is very simple in polar coordinates. Theta from 0 to pi over 4, r is from 0 to 2. The upper limit and the lower limit for both r and theta are constants. And x squared plus y squared is r squared. And dA is r, d r, d theta. Here, use, uh, use the U substitution is very simple because R D R is uh, the derivative or, or the differential of one plus R. We use the use the U substitution. U equals one plus one plus R square. Then D U is two R D R two R D R. So pi over four zero. Uh, that is. 1 over u times 1 half du. When r equals 0, u equals 1. When r equals 2, when r equals 2, u equals 5. And du d theta 0 to pi over 4. That is one half log u d theta uh, log u from one to five and d theta. That is pi over four times uh, one half as log five minus log one. Log one is zero minus log one. That is pi over eight times log of 5. That's the second example. Let's see the third example. In this example, the, the region is part of disk, or the region is enclosed uh, by, uh, by a circle, enclosed by the, the circle. No, part of uh, the region is part of the disk. The third, the third example is that we want to evaluate the double integral to y dA, where d is the region in the first quadrant.
down to the Opa by x minus y square plus y square equals 1 and below by y equals x and first we draw the graph x, x minus 1 uh, square plus y square equals 1 that is, that is a circle centered at 1, 0 and y equals x that's this one bound it above by the circle and below by the line so the region is this part and how to find the how to find the lower limit and the upper limit so our theta the least the least angle is bounded by the line now the least angle is for, is, is the ang angle for for this line this line y equals x so the the angle is pi over 4 the up the the biggest angle for this region is at y-axis when we yes if this re uh, move to to this this position then the angle is pi over 2 so the upper limit for the theta is pi over 2 and uh, the r the upper limit the upper limit is the circle this the circle how to find the equation for this circle big that is x minus 1 square plus y square equals 1 that is x square minus 2x plus 1 plus y square equals 1 and that is x square plus y square equals 2x then we use the relation of rectangular uh, coordinates and uh, the uh, polar coordinates x square plus y square is r square equals 2r cos theta x square plus y square is r square x is r cos theta so the, the this circle the equation of this circle in polar coordinates that is r equals 2 cos theta so the upper limit for r is 2 cosine theta and the lower limit because the uh, the origin is at the boundary of the region so the r is from 0 to 2 cosine theta and the double integral to y dA theta is from pi over 4 to pi over 2 and r is from 0 to 2 cosine theta to y is r sine theta da is r dr d theta is pi over 2 oh, 2 pi over 4 uh, that's 2 r square as 2 over 3 r cube from 0 to 2 cosine theta times sine theta uh, d theta pi over 2 pi over 4 that's 2 over 3 r cube that is h cosine theta cube times sine theta we still use the u equals cosine theta then du is 
negative sin theta d theta. Then it equals uh, pi over 2. Okay, uh, we can. Uh, that's 2 over 3, uh, 2 over 16. That's u cube. Uh, d u, there's negative sign. When u equals cosine theta, uh, when theta is pi over 4, that is square root 2 over 2. And when u, oh, when theta x is pi over 2, uh, cosine theta uh, is 0. That is 0 to square root 2 over 2, which we uh, interchange the upper limit and the lower limit. u cube du. That is 16 over 3 times 1 fourth and u over 4 from 0 to square root 2 over 2. That is uh, 1 third. That's the uh, double integrals in polar coordinates. Uh, there's a summary, uh, or there's we should note from the example that's the double integral f x y d a. When x, when the double integral is right in polar coordinate, uh, in rectangular coordinate, we write uh, we change the we change the double integral in polar coordinates, then the f, the x should write as r cosine theta, y is r sine theta, and dA is r dr d theta. That's when we you uh, change the rectangular coordinates to the polar coordinates.